Okay, this tutorial addresses the changes in the Benef firmware updates version 3.52 and 3.51. The changes in 3.52 are listed here and the only thing you can actually see, the rest are internal, you can see that the display ground level steps have been changed. And down here you can see that the ground position is set mid-screen vertically when you turn on the nano. With the version 3.51 changes we have the automatic ground level calibration. What that means is there is no ground position offset anymore. It's done automatically by the firmware. He allows the off-screen trigger level before when you try to scroll the the um, ground position it wouldn't let you push the trigger level line off the screen. Now it will. And pressing B for ground position or the long M will reset the ground position to the vertical center of the display. So those things you can see and we won't address them. If you've gone through all these lessons you know how to do these things. So the remainder of this lesson we'll just dedicate it to performing a calibration voltage calibration of the input stages. Okay, this shows my multimeter. It's reading 8.59 volts from the 9 volt battery. It's connected right there. And at the same time, the scope is connected to the scope probes to the same 9 volt battery. That's going to be used to do our calibration procedure. Okay, Ben F says to set the DSL Nano in auto trigger mode and we're already in auto trigger mode so set for 100 microseconds time division so there's 100 microseconds time division and set the measurement function for V average and we're set for V average I've applied a 9 volt signal, so I'm going to go up here and set my volts per division to an appropriate scale, which in this case would be 2 volts per division. Notice how the red, which says it's exceeding the range setting because it's too much voltage. Once you get 2 volts per division, then the red turns back to white right up here. So at this time, we're reading 8.72 volts, where the meter, as I showed you a moment ago, is reading 8.59. So all we have to do is slide down here to the pop-up window, slide down to gain adjustment, and our voltage is too high, we're going to use negative gain adjustments to bring it back down, 8.59. Now notice when you get close to 8.58, I'm going to do one step at a time, right there it just jumped. That's how it jumped two tenths. Now it's back to 8.58. So you got to wait a little bit and see what it really is, what it averages out to be. Now we'll go ahead and jump it up to 5.9, 2 clicks, 3 clicks, 4 clicks, 5 clicks, tuck it up. So 2.5 or 2 should be mid range. So that's where I would set my gain calibration is now. It's 0.05%. Once you set your gain calibration, then you hold the long M or your long OK to save this gain calibration. Now that has calibrated the front end for the 2 volt per division scale. So let's take a moment and look at that front end circuit. Here we have a picture of the schematic diagram of the front end circuits of the DSO Nano front end circuit consists of the input jack, if I can get my eyeballs to find it. It's over here, you can't see it. The CN1 is the input jack right here. It comes in, goes through this resistor, comes down here, goes through this op amp. This is a switch. It's a CMOS switch circuit. It's got 0 through 7, 8 switches, and the switches connect these components for different ranges. So a simplified circuit is shown up here, 
and the Nano has six input range circuits. The first three are for the 1x probes, 1, 2, 3, then the next three are for the 10x probes, 1, 2, 3. So we were on a 1x probe scale set for 2 volts per division, therefore we were using this input circuit right here. So by calibrating this 2 volts per division, we also calibrated the 5 volts and the 10 volts per division according to Ben F. So we just calibrated this input stage by using our 9 volt battery. You have to repeat this process for each other stage, either the 200 millivolts, 500 millivolts, or 1 volt stage here. Any signal within that range can be used to calibrate this stage, and any signal within this range can be used to calibrate this stage. So there's a total of six stages. So for the 10x, if you put it in 10x probe mode, then you have to calibrate these three using the appropriate voltages as designated here. So that's what this is all about. Hopefully this uh, gives you a good overview of what you're doing when you actually calibrate the DSL Nano.